Thanks so much for your time. We're here at the beautiful Century Plaza Hotel in Los Angeles, which has just gone through an amazing makeover. Give us a bit of an update on, on how that went. It's been an amazing process, hasn't it? Well, it's been a complete redesign and refit of the entire hotel. The only thing that's original is the outer walls. Everything else is brand new from the infrastructure in terms of plumbing and electrical through to every guest room, every guest bathroom, public areas, spa, you name it. So it's, it's a brand new baby. Um, I call it Cleopatra's baby, actually. I think you might, you might enjoy this because the reality is this hotel originally opened in 1966 and it, it opened as a result of Fox losing so much money on the movie Cleopatra that they had to sell a piece of the lot and that's how this, en this hotel ended up getting, getting built. So it's Cleopatra's baby in my mind, right? And 1966 original opening and now here we are in, in 2022, right, with a brand new hotel and it's complete rebirth. It is a pretty amazing project if you think about how far this, this little area has come. You're also in a pocket, a two-mile pocket of some of the most luxurious hotels anywhere in the United States, if not the world. So it's certainly, when you did the, the, this complete remastering of this hotel, there was a lot of competition already in the market to come into. There was, um, but I think the other thing, with the opportunity with this hotel was to reposition it completely from what it was. It used to be twice the size that it is now. It used to be 800 rooms, it's now 400 rooms. But we've retained the original ballroom, which is where events like the Grammys have taken place. So we've, we have that opportunity to fit back into the, the whole entertainment world, the, the film industry, et cetera, et cetera, which the hotel was always a part of. You know, everybody from, you know, the, from Sonny and Cher television show used to be broadcast from here. Um, but then you go back through the history of the hotel and all these events, one of the things for me, I'm a big music buff and I love it, right? That I love the fact that Paul McCartney's played in the ballroom. I love the fact that, that uh, the Stones were here on one occasion. You know, the, all these types of things that have happened here. And it's this opportunity to bring it back to life in a brand new, theater setting. It is a fun part of Los Angeles. Like you said, this used to be on the lot of, for Fox Studios. Right. So, uh, so much history and, and, and doing those kinds of events, obviously that helps you, doesn't it, from a, for getting the hotel name back out there that it is reopened now. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I, I, the reality of, of coming out of the COVID world is very difficult to get your name out there right now. You don't get a better opportunity than that. I mean, most hotels would kill for that. Um, and so for us, that's a huge step in the right direction. But there's lots, going to be lots of opportunities. To your point about the whole, uh, the, the area that we're in. I mean, Century City is evolving in a very different way. And like many parts of the world, as we were just talking about, whether it's London, whether it's Sydney, et cetera, et cetera, neighborhoods are coming out in very different ways from the way they have used to be. The Westfield uh, Shopping Center right next door, for example, that's a $1.5 billion makeover that that's gone through in the, in the last few years. So add that to this, and now you've got this cachet of Century City that is just phenomenal. And you've got some, some fantastic size hotel rooms. I think that's a bit of a, uh, this part of LA as well, a lot of the other competitors all have some really great size rooms. You, you've really accentuated the room product here. I think the room product is stunning, and I think one of the things that's, that's absolutely fabulous about it is they've got this brand new bathroom that obviously is in the interior of every room, and then every room has a balcony, which in today's world, and especially in LA, right, where the climate is good, you know, pretty much 340 days out of the year, the, the opportunity to go out and sit out in your balcony and look out over the skyline of Los Angeles, that's something really quite remarkable that I think is a benefit. It's a straight shot right through down to Santa Monica as well, a view that you don't really get from many hotels you in don't. the city. You don't, you don't. And, and on the view on this side of the building, if you're, if you're on the side of the building where you can look through the CAA building, you can actually see the Hollywood sign on, on the mountains in the distance. And you've got a wonderful pool deck upstairs and a fantastic day spa and gym, probably the best gym in Los Angeles downstairs. I think we have the best gym and the best spa in, in California, quite honestly. When you look at the fit out of the spa and you look at the finishes, it is just gorgeous. Um, you know, in terms of we, the, the, the women's side of the, the spa, we have a salt room, we have a hammam, we have a steam room, we have a sauna, everything you could possibly want. And then we will be doing all sorts of wellness treatments down there, not just the, the, the traditional spa treatments that you would find in most places. There will be a plethora of different um, options available in that, in that, you, in that outlet. And, and a, a fun thing too, you've, you've gone international with your restaurant here, obviously, which is part of that whole Fairmont from a brand standpoint of where your hotel flags are around the world, having a beautiful French restaurant. Well, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's fascinating because when I was first uh, involved and I started talking to the team, we were there saying, oh, well, we're going to do this California French brasserie. And I was like, how does that work exactly? And then you get together with Paul. Paul is our general manager of, of Lumiere. He came from uh, 11 Madison Park in New York. 
and you start to talk about how the menu is evolving, and it is evolving as a brasserie, but like every restaurant pretty much in California, you have to have a, a California angle to it. I mean, I don't think you can have a restaurant in California that doesn't serve some form of avocado toast for breakfast. So, you know, it's all of these things that we're having some fun with, and, uh, but we're really engaging the local community with that, and it's, it's been a great reaction to it so far. And not a lot, not a lot of places around here too. So you've really maximised that opportunity. There are a couple of places down the street that are Mexican, that are Italian, but nothing really like this in this part of LA. Nothing like this in this part of LA, and nothing with you know this bar environment to support it. Quite honestly, to be able to come in, have dinner in the restaurant, and then come out and have an after dinner drink, and you know listen to some live music, and you know just generally sit sit in a in a, in a place that has energy and uh, and passion. So, so this lobby we're in is probably a good example of, of hotel lobbies now going forward, getting back to fabulous, beautiful, big spaces. Well, I think they need to. And I think, you know, hotels were always meeting places. And, and that's really what we need to come back to. And people need to walk in and feel welcome. They need to feel there's space. They need to feel there's energy. They want to walk into an environment where they're, they're, where they're going to have fun. I mean, I, I have three simple rules for the team, which is look after the guests, look after one another, and then have fun. Because we're in a business that's supposed to be fun. And it's uh, one of my favorite places in Los Angeles. And uh, how have you enjoyed it so far? How's the journey been for you since you've been here? You know, I've been here now, I'll be, it'll be two years in September. So it's, uh, it's moving rapidly as times always do. I had the benefit, my daughter lived here for about five years before I came here. So I got to know the city a little bit, but I think it'd be very hard not to enjoy Los Angeles. It's such a diverse society. There's so many different restaurants and styles and such a diverse uh, population base from all over the world. It, it does not feel like an American city in many respects. And yet, obviously, it clearly is. Yeah. And looking forward to Hollywood getting back to its big events and everything for you oh, now. It's going to be an exciting year. Are we ever? Are we ever? For us, that's the whole thing. And there's a whole series of events that are just waiting to hit the, the start button. You know, as soon as everybody's comfortable that we're through the other side of this pandemic, I think we'll be off to the races. And I can't wait for that. Awesome. Thank you so much for having us. No, you're very welcome. It's great to have you here.